Pauli Malinaji, uh, the WA welterweight champion. Everybody's discussing uh, Lucas Matisse's uh, dramatic knockout on Mike Dallas. You were there ringside. Uh, what did you see tonight? Man? Matisse can punch, man. I mean, we already knew that going in. Um, mm. I, you know, I, I really think if Dallas hadn't got caught with such a big shot early, he, he could have held a good, had a good account of himself. You know, I felt like he was trying to establish the jab. He seemed a little too excited, but he seemed very fast, you know, and I, I felt like if he got settled into the fight, it could have been good for a few rounds before maybe Matisse would have got to him, but that's what happens when a guy hits that hard. I mean, you land clean and the lights go out, you know, it's tough. It's, it's, it, was, it was a brutal knockout. It was a knockout that... Uh, allowed Lucas Matisse to make a statement, mm -hmm. and um, you know just Mike Dallas just happened to be on the end of it. How long have you been noticing Lucas Matisse, and do you see him kind of improving and coming to his own as a fighter? I've been hearing about Lucas Matisse since he knocked out Vivian Harris uh, a few years ago. You know, and I, and I remember seeing that fight on, um, on the internet because it wasn't televised in the U.S. I don't think. And I remember I knew, you know Vivian's a friend of mine, and um, I saw it, and I remember they, I thought they stopped it too fast. You know, I remember yeah. Vivian had landed some good shots, and they stopped too fast. And I saw, I, so I thought, man, I don't know, is this guy hitting really that hard? Yeah. And Vivian was just like, yeah, oh, he hits hard. And I saw Zab fight him, and it was close, and Zab was like, that's the hardest puncher he ever fought. And I'm just like, and little by little, you start to see more of this Matisse guy, and, and he's starting to knock everybody out. And you know what? He's making a, you know, he starts to make more and more of a name for himself to the point where now he's becoming more and more in demand against top fighters. So, you know, uh, it's it's like it's got a fan friendly style. People love knockouts, so a guy like this, people want to see him against anybody. And we talked a little bit about yesterday, but Matisse wants Danny Garcia. Uh, Garcia's taking on Judah. Uh, how, again, would you assess that matchup? It's a good matchup, man, because Zab is fast enough to pose some problems for Danny. You know, I think speed will bother Danny. You know, the problem is, can Zab have the consistency Danny has shown? Because Danny's unappreciated because people don't appreciate the consistency that he shows. You know, he may not be the fastest, he may not be the strongest, although he's very strong, and he may not be the, the most pretty the prettiest boxer but at the end of the day the consistency he shows in all his fights from one to twelve or shorter gets him the win because he breaks a guy down or he eventually gets to you so it's one thing that Zab has not shown in his career aside of, you know he's shown a lot of talent but he has not shown consistency so that makes the matchup intriguing and um, you know if Zab wins it it'd be interesting to see him and Matisse in a rematch obviously if Danny wins it Everybody wants to see Danny versus, versus Matisse. Do they make it? I don't yeah. know, but everybody wants to see that fight. That's the last thing I was going to ask. How would you break it down? Who would you bet your money on, Danny Garcia or Lucas Matisse? I don't know. It's hard, man. It's hard. You know, you, you say, okay, Matisse is very strong, but at the yeah. same time, people keep picking against Danny, and what does yeah. Danny do? He keeps knocking them all dead. So, yeah. so really, it, it's a hard fight to pick, and um, a lot of firepower, man. A lot of firepower. And there are two guys who, if you notice, when they're fighting, do not change their facial expression. I love yeah. that. I love a poker face. I love a good poker face, even when a guy takes a shot or when a guy's landing. They're just, they're like Michael Myers or like, yeah. or like Jason Boyce. They doesn't change. And so, you know, uh, I think it's a great fight. I think it's an explosive fight. If they don't make it, man, it's, it would be a shame. All right, thanks a lot, Paul. But don't count Zab out. I'm not, you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself. That's a good fight with Danny and Zab.